So, and we're back. There we are with the match of uh, the Sith Lord against Team Moon Moon. And um, we're waiting for the players to arrive. I hope you are still there, all the nice watchers. So we just saw an interesting match between um, Sloth Sanctuary against the Fat um, Blame Tiny Owl, and which was very close and won two to one. Excuse me. So congratulations on that. That was Group G, and now we are in Group F. And if you want to check the standings, uh, boom, 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 boom. you can check the standings when you put in exclamation mark standings. I will do this now. No, and you can see in Group um, F that Fifth Lords and Team Moon Moon are both on the lower places, so the it's about just the winner has a chance to proceed. So this is just the last stand for both teams. Wow. So we're waiting for everybody to arrive. I have to check who is on what team. So, Ziboim on the left side, Lejon Amelia as well. Proximo has to go to the other team. Sephiro as well. No, Sephiro is right. Drizzy swap team and Matadek. He also swap team. So, the Sith Lords, they are complete. And there's just Proximo for Team Moon Moon. Oh, which is okay, I think. So, hi, all the viewers. I hope you have a nice second part of the evening. This is the RM League of Heroes Lounge. Uh, the real thing, like uh, when the when the season is through, the real thing starts, and that's not the playoffs, at the Iron League. That's what's going on right now, for the July in a year at last, and uh, it's gonna be thrilling with uh, Team Moon Moon fighting against uh, the Sith Lords for the last stand in this group. F, F like fantastic. And like uh, formidable, and I don't know what other words with F we have. Maybe f oof, I don't know. I really don't know. Hmm, what could we say with F? Flabbergasting. Yeah, that's good. So we are still waiting um, for three players from Team Moon Moon. Hello, Proximo. Hello, Maya Slam. And yes, we are waiting for everybody to arrive. Flowers! Oh yes, Team Flowers. Nice. Team Flowers. Uh, the group of flowers, of the group of flabbergasting fantastic flowers. Mm. Yes, that's nice. Oh, and Fanta. It's a Fanta group. Mm. It gets better all the time. So nice. <laughs> Anta. Mm, 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 mm. So we are again in the during draft and setting up the lobby. We are listening to YouTube Reggae Music Library. This is the reason because there's no copyright and I will upload all the VODs, all the VODs to YouTube later and you can watch them then. Fantastic flowers, yes, Fanta. We have 20 seconds delay, that's why I sometimes uh, slow to reacting to the chat, but I react to the chat, so write what you want and I will react. <laughs> Every time we meet, I get this feeling, feeling, group F of feeling. Why didn't I thought about this earlier? Maybe because I have no feel. Oh, no, I mean, group F like feelings. So we have, hi Maladriel. So we have group F match and both teams here remaining team Moon Moon and Thistlos fighting for the last stand. The loser is out and the winner has still a chance to get second place. And um, yeah, it's group F. You can see that in the standings and um, like we were just figuring out what group F stands for. We were gathering words with F. We're like flowers and Fanta. 
and flabbergasting, fantastic. Well. And feelings. So, still waiting for Al to arrive. Uh, the match was set for 21.30, so that's still alright to wait here. Earlier tonight we had another match running, and that was um, uh, the Sloth Sanctuary against Fat Blame Tiny Old. That was fun because Tiny Old was actually playing in Team Sloth Sanctuary, and in the end they won. They managed to secure the win close in the close matches. Yes, and that's that. And uh, that was also a deciding match because Sloth Sanctuary was able to to um, secure the second spot. In group G, G like Wells, G Wells, and uh, Fat Blam Tiny All just got third, which is sad. What is this? It's some steel rum lullaby. So one player missing. That's the fitting music for Group F. <laughs> T group Fancy. So, Three Wolf Moon. Yeah, they all have the portrait synergy. And there they are. There they are. They are complete. Hey, 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 hey. All fine, all ready. Oh no, and there he died it. Just Drizzy died at the very moment. <laughs> they completed. <laughs> what has happened? <laughs> they just died it with three people simultaneously. So somebody stepped on the network switch or whatever. <laughs> there they are. Maybe they got carried away by this steel drum lullaby. Ooh. So now we have turned it around. There's one player missing from uh, the Fifth Lords. Oh my god, yes. Uh... Yeah, yeah. So there is just we are hitting twenty one thirty right now, right? In the, that's so it's a fine. Twenty one thirty what is a set date for the match? One player is missing. Oh, what is wrong there with with other are, are they what are they doing? Why are they suddenly lo losing connection? So they're switching players out. Others are playing. Seems like that. Internet problems. Where are you living, guys? Matek, Layona, Mieli, Zephyro, Zeboin, Drizzy. <laughs> okay, there are some internet problems, actually. But I hope it can go... The question is if we can start or if we can't. This is the last match of tonight. We had an, yesterday and today we had a lot of armies going. Everybody seems to be alive.
So, three players missing. So, there's just two players missing now. And that are Sefiro and Lejon Amieli. Yes, just Sefiro missing. Finish team, alright. Mm -hmm. There we go. And we will watch the world on screen here. So this is the first map of the second match tonight. And as we remember, both teams have one veto per match. And that is when you think the random gods were bad to you or too good to your opponent, you can say no. And the map is restarted. And you have to do this before the gates open. So, let's go in short game and enjoy. See you then. Mm -hmm. So, still loading. Somebody is loading very longish. And that is Maladriel. Yes, yes, hard times. So there we are, finished the loading, except for the Zephyro. Ah, there it is. Uh, 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 let's, you can see them drafting. Uh, just the blue team drafting, sadly. The red team, we will be surprised by them in a, in a moment. So they pick the Arthur's Mouth of Fia. No, so Zephira playing what? Zephira playing of Fia or Nova. Anna Arthralis and Anubarak. So, so Anub and Mouth, Arthas, Thral and So it's the opponent. So I zoom out. Do they use the veto or don't? So, Team Blue, that is the Sith Lords. With Anub played by Drizzy, Arthas played by Lejon Namieli, Sephiro playing Nova, <laughs> Zeboin playing Malf, and Matek playing Thrall. And the right side, that is Team Moon Moon. With Yimek on Reyna, Pop and Fresh on Ming, Anub again played by Maladriel, Proximo. Proximo is that. That must be Blaze, right? Yes, Blaze. And Linux playing Stukov. So they're moving down the mid and trying to start bashing on each other. Arthur stacks with a D. We have also the D talent for Mouth. Globes for Anub. Advanced cloaking for uh, for for Nova and Crash Lightning for Thrall. On the right side we have Globes for New for that's, that means for, for Blaze. Stacks on the W for Stukov. Oh here Reynas in trouble gets engaged on the flank. Can he survive? Stukov puts out the big heels. Yeah, that keeps him alive. We have Beatles on the for the other noob, Power Hungry and Veteran Marksman stacking Reyna. First kill on Reyna though, Nova snipes him away. The first kill goes over to the Sith Lords. The fifth loss. But that is just early in the game and it doesn't say that much. If you brawl at each other, it's fine, you can gather stacks. I don't know who gets more from stacks. Mm -hmm. Maybe Team Red. Um, I don't know. But um, the death timers are so low, Reyna is back already, and nothing is happening. And the only important thing is if you stack out so much death that you get an XP advantage, or you can... Uh, yeah, you can siege, actually. If you can siege and get some value on the structure, that's fine. Nova over our fear. Grief. <laughs> <laughs> yes, given uh, maybe, yes, I think so. But maybe he has a plan, and that's what he's doing. He sits down having a plan. And Upium Trouble gets pretty low, but... There's healing for Malf as well. Malf is a great healer in this mode. As, uh, Stukov uh, too. Both are great healers. I think one, both are the two of the strongest healers in this mode. Stukov just always gets value on everybody with his uh, um, uh, virus here. While uh, Malf can also spread a lot and can give the, the mana refund. Nova does some damage. He gets in... Oh, oh she just slipped away here. Arthas is in trouble. Maybe? No, he's not. He's not. 
Very nice stacking, Stucky. Yeah, yeah. So, greetings everybody on this nice evening and we're watching together the Heroes Lounge AU Iron League on the first map of this match here, the second match tonight I'm streaming. It's Group F and they're play playing for the last stand because they're oops, the, the dead Arthurs at the equalizer and kills. Blaze here punching the bench. Um, so, yeah, the, the loser of this match will be out from this group. They will be definitely last one, last place where the winner has still a chance to proceed. And that's important. There is a second kill for Tim Blue. Blaze gets down on Earth, but they get a little bit of Seaton exchange, which is something. Um, Nova on the flank again. Shoots a little bit on the... Ming, ming, ming. Level 4. Oh. Throw. Falls. 2-2-2 two to two kills. Both are level 4. It's pretty, pretty equal here. Oh, Nova has... Uh, oh, that's a deadly Ming, most likely. Yes, it is. Well done, Nova prepared it and Anup dives into kill, but he gets killed himself. Also, Arthur's now maybe in trouble, gets focused by Reyna. Yep, dead one. Reyna kills everybody, gets stacks. Reyna is stacking here. Getting this advantage. They have a little bit of siege already. They have one kill more now. Let's see if that will proceed like that or if, can, or if Blue keeps it even. Oh, Thrall. As well as very strong this mod, he can stack, stack, stack. That the same is, goes for Reyna. Anup falling here, is equalizing out the kill count. Nova does a good job. He, she always uh, shows up on the flank, bursting a little bit there, then running around again, bursting then on the other side a little bit. And if she's able to prepare some squishy backline target, or the dive in, that is what's gonna happen. Both are about to le hit level 7 now. Mm, yes, they are. There it is for Team Blue and there it is for Team Red. Fighting here. Anup here gets dived upon, but Arthur is one falling. Oh, he isn't. Anup fires, falls and Arthur stays alive. Good heals from the mouth and also selfie from Arthur. Thrall here now in danger. Could be punished. Close, claw. Anup um, move on the flank. Actually pushes them away a little bit. Heals the globe, runs away. Has, she has the control right here now of the, over the area. Good good thing here from the Nova. Five to four kills. A little bit advantage, like a third of a level. Uh, but there's a sieging advantage for Team Red, and that is what is an uh, important thing. For now, it's still pretty even. The uh, the tides will maybe turn when uh, when both reach level 10, because the heroic uh, gives you a way different approach. Of fighter. Oh, Blaze just slipped through everybody. He was covered in baby oil and slipped through everybody. Blaze! No, we can get away. We can get away with that. So, first damage at the structure is done by Team Blue. Blaze hiding here in the bush. Double tank on both sides, which, which is interesting. Anoop now, he gets engaged, maybe he's in trouble, he gets focused, can dig away. Blaze here now holding the front, but it uses his Steve Unstoppable to survive. He has finished the quest already, the new habit quest, which makes him unstoppable for the first seconds of using the D. For two seconds, yes. Mm, yeah, good denial from base. You saw that Nova. Arthur Sim Travel gets focused, gets killed, and that's five to five, six to five kills. Level ten around the corner for Team Red. They have no half a level advantage, and they will reach level ten first. Nice engage on the on the mouth. Good kill, three co kills in in a row, and level ten with bunker, massive shove, cocoon, Reparion, and Ming going for. Of course. It's gonna be disintegrate, right? It's gonna disintegrate. Hyperion used level 10, not reached for the blue now. Uh, Thrall falling, another kill is getting netted here. Still no heroic chosen from Ming. Oh, Blaze, be careful. That looks close. Yeah, that's a death Blaze. They should be careful now. Level 10 is reached. We have Triadim, we have Kukuna as well. We have Precision Strike, Sindragosa, very strong, and Earthquake. Yeah, Sindragosa going through. Th freezing everybody here. 
And whoops, silence used, but Malf dies for that. And also Anoop dies for that. Nice killing here from Team Red. But they are now uh, now put full together here. Nova snipes one out. Maybe gets a second one soon. Arthas has to run. Nova also has to run. She has to dance around the corner when we get the kill. Focus here. Will they be fighting here? Will they? Ming, is, uh, Ming has no mana. They have to be careful. That's why. So 11 to 7 kills. To level 12 to 11, so one level lead for Team Blood. They took out the four, which is good, but early in the game, before the eight minutes, taking out the four. And though the match goes on, let's see. Heroics are up for red again. Fighting here happening. Malaria goes pretty low, but he's still alive using the cocoon of the Marv in the back line. Damage on Anub, 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 he falls. Marv now gets also focused, he gets an impaled, and the Ming hits. And that's a death support and a death tank. And Bla uh, Arthas gets pushed by the massive shelf against the wall. But it should be. Oh no, no, he can't. He can't walk away. Nice body blocking bunker now in the way. Sieging at the gates. Strong power play right now from, from Team Moon Moon. They uh, plow through that structures. And now at the gate, at the keep already. The gates of keep have fallen. Focus on that Anoop. He got a little bit too far in here, I think. Yeah, that's um, that looks good for Team Red and rough for Team Blue, but that's not decided yet. Level 14 and 12, two level lead about though. They're on fire. So, what is, are they doing? Ming on the way back. Cocoon used on Marv again. Will they be fighting? Oh, there. The Vindagos are going over everything. Big shove. Arthas, see you later. Other dimension, whatever. Anoop here dropping pretty low. Impaled. And he is dead. Blaze driving into the bunch. Getting the kill on Marv. Ultimately, Ming now gets the reset. Gets another kill on uh, um, Anoop. A uh, uh, back of him. Uh, cancels a shot from Li Ming, but that's not enough. He's falling as well. Li Ming gets the value here. Also, Arthur's now in trouble. He was pushed to another dimension. Was just about to get back. Uh, just got back, and then he's dead in as well. So, keep us down pretty early. Pretty strong play here from Team Moon Moon. Bam. No more well for you. The Fifth Lords. But... Um, but we know only assist deals in absolutes, and um, that's why, uh, I don't know, this loss might come back. Yes, they might come back. It's not done yet. So fighting goes, the parent is used. No, everybody's still alive. Fighting, no, uh, Orb of Living does not connect. The parent also does not much damage here. Blue might still be fighting. Mm -hmm. mm, so yeah, no real engages happening here. A little bit poke, not much poke, and that's just that. Anub has to disengage now here. Focus on both Anub though. Blaze, wow, oh, high damage from everybody on Arthur, and he falls for that. And that's another frontliner falling, and now they are in trouble here. Full control for Team Red. They are sieging a little bit on the core. There's no shield on the core. That's why. It has a value. Oh, no one now falling. Maybe is it zero? Or can you get away with that? No, we can't. Oh, he can. Yes, he can. He's still alive. But the core is dropping. The core is down to 28%. <laughs> Anup gets uh, frozen from the Zindragosa. Although maybe now they can defend it somehow. Yes, they can defend it with a 6% core. Still defending. Great. Great, great, great. So let's see what they can make out of this. XD is Proxima saying. So you can see, like, for a long while, Blue had uh, more control over the map with a with a Nova on the flank that was really, really uh, threatening the red team. But they couldn't push out any siege. And when they got stronger and scaled, Reyna and Ming did so much more damage than Nova could actually do here to the front line. Uh, there was just the thrill on the other side. And um, yeah, that was the thing. And so they just slowly proceeded, sieged, and got stronger and stronger and stronger. And then they just plowed through other structures with, with the, the yeah, 
with her draft, with that draft. And now they are back up, and let's see if they can hide again. That's strong, or if you just go for core, that's just 6% left. Anup in the danger. He maybe get, dies again. Now we can get out. Wow, that was close. Oh, no, Anup, he's still. Oh, now he gets killed by a death call from Arthur's. Nice. Old school. But the core fell to Reyna backdooring with his Hyperion. Hey, this is this Jimmy. Oh. <laughs> what an anti climax. But well done, Jimmy boy. Congratulations. <clears throat> Let me sit up straight. And that's fine. And it's one nil lead for Team Moon Moon. Team Moon Moon. Uh, score for Team Red. One. Congratulations. And let me host the second map. I just know already which map they are drafting. Somehow. It's just magic. Uh, ooh. lobby link, and we have the fifth Lords Faust team moon moon. There we are. Do, 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 do. So the teams are joining. Moon moon. God damn it, Moon Moon. Ah, oh, we have to listen to the music, I forgot. Yes, so wait for everybody to arrive. That is Team Moon Moon is swap team, swap team, swap team, that. So one player missing, all fine. So, yes. First win goes to Team Moon Moon, and if they win this, they have a chance in this group left. The losers are most likely out of the tournament, but um, it's not over till it's over. And the Sizzlers will be fighting, and we'll, they should take us. I'm, I'm neutral, but of course I want to see a third map. And that would be something. That would be something. All fine already. This is Jamie. So both are ready, and here we go. So hit the bottom. Seven out of ten are ready. Stitcher, no. Malaria missing. Linux missing. Oh no, they are ready. So manage. Get ready for the second map of this beautiful match in Group F, about uh, last stand for both teams. Team Moon Moon in the lead with 1-0 against the Sith Lords. And um, yes, that could be the last game, but maybe we will see a third one. Both still have their vetoes. Let's go. So we have a comp here with Stukov, Daria, Greyman, Reyna, and Tychus. And let's see what their opponents will be facing. We can, set, we can just see the draft of Team uh, Fifth Lords. Arthur, Zaya, Tychus, Greyman. Interesting, yeah. And what is on the other side? On the other side, so let's check first. We, let's both have to the vetoes. That uh, I don't know, but um, I know that on the left side uh, we veto. So a veto coming out for red. Okay, I recreate. So that is a veto coming out. Red is so if you each team has once per match a veto, and if they think RNG was bad to them or too good to their opponents, they can, s before the gates open, they can say veto and then we remake the game and get a new draft. And uh, yeah, that is now the draft. The veto from Team Moon Moon is gone. And the veto of uh, the Seas Lords are s still there, though so they can.
uh, lobby link, uh, Thith Lords, VS Team, Moon Moon. So I want to copy that so I have it for later if it happens again. So four of each are there. Yes, Heroes Lounge, we have summer, that's why we have a season break, and in that season break we have this beautiful Aram tournament. And everybody's enjoying it. Moon Moon and Sis Lords. Dance everybody. All fine already. Six out of ten already. Ba -ba -ba -ba. You're about to get raided. Oh god, by whom? Victory for the Forsaken. Nine and ten. Storm shock. Oh my god. <laughs> what is there? 807? <laughs> Hi there, guys. Um, <laughs> thank you, Kaldo. <laughs> Yeah, greetings. <laughs> you just entered the Aram match here. <laughs> and this is a Heroes Lounge Aram League. And there's just one. It's a one in lead for Team Moom against the Thith Lords. And uh, yeah, <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Hi there. Greetings. Thank you, Kaldor. Thank you very much. And greetings to all the Kaldor fans there. I myself listened to Kaldor when I was playing Warcraft 3 back then. So that were the days. Wow. So, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Pog. <laughs> Thank you for the follow, Gregory Ost. I'm just... Uh, yeah. This is... Uh, Heroes Lounge is on break, and that's why we have this uh, Iron League going on. I will swap to the in-game. i see you then. So here we are. Uh, I have to set up everything like this and stop the silly uh, reggae music that we are doing just in the draft thank you for all the draft for the follow guys that's awesome um so that is aram league and we have on the left side that is the fifth lords with a uh, drizzy on um, um on deckard the boim on tychus the on uh what is this that is afia then Rexa played by Legion Amieli and uh, uh, Diva from Matic. On the right side, there's Team Moon with a 1-0 lead with also Tiger split by, by Yimek, uh, Leo on Pop and Fresh, Proximo on Anduin, Linux playing another Tiger, so three Tigers. And there's last but not least, there is an Anduin, uh, no, Irrel. Oh, and the fight goes on in the middle. First damage is having Misha dies first. Sad Misha, Misha. Thank you for the follows, guys. I can't even. And um, so, yes, that's an Ara match. And we have very short death timers. Everybody will be back up quickly. And all that exchange of brawling here does, doesn't do much. It's just like, um, <laughs> thank you for the follow. Uh, it's just stacking and stuff. And as long as you just brawl, you just have value in stacks. And. Um, you, you can see there's not much sieging happening, and that's that's the point. So let's check the talents. We have a point for, for um, what's her, Althea, for the Loli. She has a Q build going, dash for Tychus, scroll of Identify, Easy Prey, and hit the Nitros. On the right side we have Renew, Filthy, filthy Unto Death, Press the Advantage, another dash, and Merit's in sight. Another kill here, haven't? Irel, there's one to one kill. Thank you for the follow, guys. You're breaking the stream. <laughs> so, yes. Leo got trade value just when I was happy, and then is Tychus falling as well. We have three to one kills for Team Blue, and um, getting here a little bit of advantage, like half a level lead, but that's not that much. You can see they, the, the, the respawn is just happening. They didn't get any siege out of that. Half a level lead is not that much. They will get the... Uh, they will get the level 4 earlier though. That's something. So let's watch them brawl. And brawl and brawl. 
and uh, yeah, oh god, thank you for the follow. And uh, wow, Ekazi, thank you for the for the ab abonnement with Twitch Prime. Wow, thank you a lot. Thank you very very much. Uh, and um, yeah, okay, uh, I'm. Yeah, I actually started started streaming just uh, like two months ago, and uh, why? Because I finally got good internet here in dark Germany, and um, better internet. And before that, actually, I'm I'm old, I'm so old myself that I was playing Warcraft three back then, and I also did some shoutcasting back then with Walk TV, and Warcraft three was the shit, and that's where I first listened to Kaldor as well. So Kaldor is uh, was the man in Warcraft three streaming with game sports and uh, so it's really cool for him to host here thank you thank you a lot um uh, yes sujin is allowed in this tournament actually it's just the normal rules and latent uh, so level six to five but it's just like a third level lead we have five to three kills for the fifth lords against team moon moon team moon moon took the first map that was an yeah, um, this lots. Uh, oh, thank you for the follows. <laughs> yes, Warcraft 3, that were the days. Another trade value for Leo, but there's Deckard falling the back line, Tigers on the flank, tried to snack the kill, and also killed the Misha, but got punished for the, his dark brother, Tigers, for that. We have three Tigers in this. What is the, what is the plural of Tigers? Tigers? Just Tigers? Like, Taiki? Is it English? W uh, is it Latin? U.S. and I, the plural? Tychus, Tyche? Or that Tychuses? What the plural of Tychus? What the plural of Tychus? Tychus, Tyche? Or maybe Teichen? Oh, thank you for the follow. That's... Uh, that's the same... Yeah, that's... Ah, it's just... Well, yo, you, you, you totally destroyed my overlay and it just pops in now. <laughs> Thank you, guys. <laughs> so, damage here, he can't even cast. And it's level 8 to level 7.5. And, half, and um, uh, Malarial will be punished as well. Then it's 9 to 4 kills already. So, so, so we're getting into the zone of the match. Five minutes sh soon is through. When um, when it's getting harder, uh, it's getting uh, takes longer to respawn, and we're getting some value on the on the on sieging. That's what you see now. That is a dead Misha and a dead Tychus. I think trading a beer for uh, a bear for for Tychus is a good thing. And yeah, thank thank you, Halsey. Yes, that is a. Uh, Great sub animation <laughs> with the <laughs> with the um, seal carrying away Patrick, astonished Patrick. So yeah, this is um, Group F of the group stage from this uh, tournament. It's just an in-between season tournament. So the Heroes Lounge just have a launch uh, has has a, has a season break in July, and that's why there's a fun Iron tournament going on. Some weird g souls say. That's just the main thing. Everybody was just preparing for Aram League, but maybe or maybe not. I don't know. So Aram League is going on. That's the group stage. And in this group F, those two teams are uh, sadly on position three and four with zero wins. <laughs> and uh, the winner of this match still has a chance to proceed, while the loser will most likely be out eliminated. And we have level 10, uh, already nearly have level 11, uh, with Crushing Jaws, Commander uh, Udin, Stay Well, boss and uh, the, the the skill shot the big shot from diva so they are still like a half a level or third level when red is not able to get their heroics and that's something but as we know in aram uh, as soon as both teams have heroic uh, the, uh, as soon as the heroics are there the the, the the match changes something times because some comps rely on the heroics yeah and uh, there are the heroics now for team moon moon we have two Odins, the Light Bomb and Entomb, and what will be the... I want to see a, a Entomb into double uh, Odin, uh, later level 20, big red button, that would be mean. <laughs> there's the Entomb and there's the Odin, there's the damage on both sides, and there's the Diva Bomb used in that Entomb. Leo just falls for that and dies out of here. Oh, can she jump out? Yes, she can. <laughs> so just Leo pays for with some trade value for this... Uh, Big fight here. 
<laughs> level 12 against level nearly 11. So still about one level lead for Team Blue. 13 to 5 kills, which is a lot. But it's still uh, not uh, uh, Leo Forest <laughs> again. And then um, already gets into crushing Loras and she gets killed by that uh, pulled. Uh, Tigers gets pulled away from Anduin. Two Tigers. Odin battle here. What is that? Mech Commander? Nice. But uh, the Diva does a good job in uh, using the defense matrix on the other Odin here, so he doesn't get any poke value de defensively. Now the Rexa is... But, the, but wha what are you doing? He will get punished again, Leo. Nope, he's alive. And there is Iro jumping in, using a heroic and getting a dead bear here. But that's just a dead bear and that's that. Ah, Tigers falls. Okay. Still one level lead. Diva. I know everybody is back in his mech. It's actually really mech warrior here. We have Diva on the mech and we have three Taiki. Uh, Taikosis. For Talchen. Like a Talchen. And there's one Taikos falling. So it looks good for Team uh, Sloth. Uh, not Sloth. Uh, Uh, fifth uh, lords, they uh, they are about to to get control of this um, uh, this map more and more, and this is good. So they we we will be taken to a third map then. But it's not decided yet. It can change. It can change everything fine as long as there's still the four standing. It's all fine. It's all fine. Though we now we have level 13, one and a half level lead, but still the same talent here. Leo, <laughs> damn Leo. Get yourself together. I can turn up the in-game volume a little. Okay. I will do so. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So I did it by a few percent. I don't know if it's enough. Misha will pay for this. Misha dies. The mech is used. The bomb disengage happening. That's what. Yes, that's what should be doing. Even a little bit more. If it's too loud, please tell me. Then I will tune it back down. Wow, 337 viewers. Thank you a lot, Calder. Very nice. And greetings to all the Calder. Uh, fans again. So damage on both sides. Level 16 is cl around the corner for Team Blue, which is a big thing. That is, uh, yes, nice. Uh, Iril uh, uh, dies here. Disengage. Level 16 it is. Level 19 to 7 kills. Diva driving around, annoying and securing the kill on the other attackers. But now Diva losing her mech. She has to walk, get entombed. But is it enough to get a kill? Nope. She uses her. Uh, skill shot to survive and kill the poor Leo. P Leo always pays when he entombs somebody. That's a poor soul. Leo just should start learning, but maybe he has no brain. The lane brain is already rotten. Sorry, I don't mean the player. The player is great. Thank you for the follow. Ice cream. Hmm, I need some ice cream now. Game still too quiet. A little bit louder now. So there we are. Tell me if it's too loud now. So they're sieging now. They're maybe back. They get level 16 now. And that's the same talent here. But fighting is happening. There's a crushing yaw coming out. Getting the Tychus in his, in his mech here. He's trying to disengage. Leo is here hitting on the... Why is he hitting on that other mech? Well, I don't know. And Tomb is used d defensively parallel to the walking line. to uh, Parallel to the, to the front line to deny the proceeding. Malaria doesn't get no no more death here. Still the fort is defended. Thank you for the follow. Fit plight. Super quiet. Uh, uh, there's something wrong with my headphones then because here it's loud. So that's the four falling, and that's level 18 around the corner team blue. 
Oh, nice wombo here. Damage. Lightning bomb connects on the Leo though. Getting here, but ah, Diva can survive in his mech. Tycus just steps into that thorns here and died at it. I wonder why it's so loud. Uh, I don't know why. What a, yeah. So, it looks rough for Team Red. They are defense here. They are in the defense, and it's uh, they don't even talent here, though. But uh, it's just one level away for level 20, but three level away for, for level 20 for Team Red. And that is that. But as long as they have a keep and a war well, they can turn it around. But, um... Rexa unleashes the boss, Leo is in trouble, uses E to work out, but he's still exposed somehow. Get stunned by Misha and maybe focus also here, all oh, using the mech. Well done, Leo now falling here. Crushing Jaws does not connect. Nice pull out from Anduin. Hmm, pull out. So he's doing Kuritos Interruptors. Uh... And the season goes on. Level 20, there it is. Leo just respawning. Backline Linux with his uh, Odin defending here. Diva tries to open up the gate with the mech. Yep, so that's what she does. One tower remaining. 25 to 9 kills. That's a huge lead in, in, in killing people. But they are still in. They are still fighting. They are uh, holding their ground. Team Moon Moon. Moon Moon. The boss are unleashed again. Odin popped here and the fight is on. There is all the nice uh, stay while and listen. Kills the Anduin off. And um, looking rough now. The front line is trying to disengage. Are they able to do so? They're really low. Leo is. Lo they don't have a support anymore. That's why they can't really fight now. Oh, oh, oh. Tychus. You're in the middle of everything. Nope, you died at it. Still super quiet. Hmm. Weird. And here we are. Thank you for the follow, Soulskyth. Seven. Nice pull from Endon, but was not enough to save the Earl. Earl dying. Core under siege, just no shield in era mode, and uh, yeah, Diva zoning them away. And because there's no shield, any siege is fine. Diva now has to pop the yes, she does. Level 20, they have the, um, the mecha fall. And the defender, the core is down to 69%. 67. Tychus just jumps away. Both Tychus is, is, is. And it looks rough. 50% core. And it looks like that uh, the Sith Lords are taking us onto the third map. Which is great. So we have some more show to go for. GG! 6%, 5%, 1%, 0! GG! 1-1 one, one equalizing and uh, here we are back you can see me now <laughs> and um, yeah that's a GG and uh, I have to update the standings I'm still so if you have any feedback here with my stream and whatever I'm still working on that I would be happy to hear anything we are going on the third map and it will be lost cavern again um, Uh, some music here, custom game, I have to create the lost cavern, and uh, so, I have a lobby link, not like that. So we are listening to reggae music from the from the YouTube library <laughs> in the in the breaks because I will upload all the streams, the match streams to YouTube as an as a as a VOD and we don't want to get problems with copyright you know and that's why we're using the free free copyright free music from the library of YouTube 
and uh, I choose the reggae music because it's summer and everybody likes reggae at least something. <laughs> and yeah, that's that. that. Yeah, GG Sidloth, we have one to one. Um, Greatington, and waiting for the last player of the Sidloth to arrive here. Wait, where am I now? Two. I, I, I'm, I'm a server. I won't play. Set referee. No match history. Wait, that's something. I'm still there. I'm still there. Hmm, 1,700 extra HP on the on the Misha because animal husbandry. Um, yeah, that is by the way group F, F like fantasy or Fanta. Some city steel drum music? No, no, that's too much. I just randomly downloaded like 20 songs. 20 songs from the uh, YouTube library, so that's why sometimes it's especially silly. Actually, this melody reminds me of another song. Mm, yeah, we have a, in the Heroes Lounge, we have currently the seasonal break. But still, I think still until the 12th, um, you can still apply for the next season to participate. If you So if you want to play Heroes, Lounge, uh, Heroes of the Storm like it's meant to be played, mm, you should join. All fine, all ready. And you can join with a complete team, you can join with a part team and also as a free agent, as a single player. And uh, both are ready. And then you will just assign into a team, into a random team, and uh, you can enjoy the game. And you, no matter what skill level you have. So just check it out, heroeslaunch.gg. 7 out of 10 players are ready. Oh, yes. One missing. Oh no, it seems like my 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 internet got problems. Oh no. Am I still online? Seems like I got a problem with the disconnect. Am I still online? I hope so. I hope you can hear me. I hope I'm still there. Somehow here in dark jungle Germany, again, internet got died, which is just, ugh. and uh, am I back online? Am I back online? Please, if you hear me write anything down, that would be great, because, um, yeah, I don't know what's going on here. I think my neighbor has like three Xboxes and is updating them at the same time because I usually have a 200 MB downstream and it can't be, it just can't be. My upload is like 20 or what? I don't know. So I am just cry here every time and maybe just my silly Vodafone internet has overheating again. Die, die, die. So we are in the game. We stop the music and we search for what is happening. I see you then. Are we still online? Are we still online? Everybody died at that. So on the left side, up. Oh, thank you for the follow tutorial. That's lovely. So somebody is there. Um, Drizzy on Lunara, the Viru. Oh, there's a Vito coming out. Vito. Okay. I rehost. So for all that are just, uh, they don't, uh, they don't know the rules. Each team has once per match the 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 right of a veto, once per match, not per map, and uh, that means that as soon, there I am again, that as as before the gates open, you are allowed to deny a draft once, once, and. Um, And then the, the lobby is just restarted and you ca can pray for RNGesus again. 
And that's what just happened. And now, because uh, both teams have, al have already used the vetoes, no vetoes are left anymore. Moon Moon used the veto before you were raided here. And uh, now um, the veto was used from the Sith Lords. And uh, that, that. We have bumpy music. No, Yimik Mikey. Sadly, German engineering, yes, but not modern engineering, you know? Germany has great, like, maybe cars and machines and all this stuff. But internet, no, no, no. This is third world country. That's why Calder went away and got to Spain. Maybe also because he can have better bicycling race, uh, tracks and better weather there. But no, the internet is so, 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 so sad in Germany. That's not good. That's not cool. Sometimes it's good, but no. You know, already the music is bumping. Ah, they're ready. So sorry again for the disconnect. One player missing. There we are. Here we go. So that costs us, us a few viewers, sadly. Um, sad, sad. So the the vetoes are all used. They can't restart the game anymore if Iron Jesus is against them or with them too much, though. And that's why we have to take what is coming now. Take life as it comes into your face. And blinking a little bit. Arc. And like that. So, 1 1. Team Moon Moon against Sith Lords. I will. S you can check the draft here. Just the blue draft, sadly. The other one is still missing. And that will be shown in a while. And I switch in game. And I see you then. And let's have fun. So we have Kelthas Gul'dan, Adarak, <laughs> Imperius Ragnaros. What a silly Aram draft. And what do we have on the other side? Alarak Nova Hammer, Genji Arthas. Wow. Wow. So both is, 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 is really silly drafting. I have to stop the music now so it won't get too much overboardness here. And let's check the drafts. Let's push all the red buttons. And on the left side, we have the Sith Lords with Drizzy on Imperius, Legion Namiedi on Alarak, Zephyro on Kel'thas, Zeboim on Gul'dan, Matek on Ragnaros. On the right side, there is Team Moon Moon with Proximo on Alarak as well. There's Poppin' Fresh on Arthas, Yimek on uh, Genji, Maladriel playing Nova, and Linux on Sergeant Hammer. Hammer, and um, yeah, they're moving down mid. Both go extend lightning on the Alarax. You have a corruption, consuming flame, shifting meteor, convection, swift as the wind. The W quest for Arthas connecting on the rack and securing the first kill. That's what Yimik likes. This Genji themes like no Nova get the kill. They have Nova Genji. That's just mean. Uh, covered Ops. Swift as a wind, ambush. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Thank you for the follow, Ark One. Ark One. Sorry. So, Dark Jungle Germany is still online somehow. Um, not fun. Yes, thank you. I keep playing hearts and I keep the game alive. Thank you. Yes, that's what I want to do. Uh, I love this game and I'm sad that. Uh, actually, to know, today there was a post on Reddit. Uh, from this article on, on 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 PC games or something, and Caldor wrote there something, and what he wrote was very true. The problem in Hots was that it was released way too early with with not a re right features. Oh, there, nice route again here on the Golden get the kill. <laughs> Genji though jumps in when he was already killed and gets gets smoked by the towers. So what Caldor said was. Uh, um, 
Blizzard released an unfinished, unpolished game and forced it into eSport without it being ready. And you just can't make an eSport of a game that has no basic features that are needed for any eSport thing. And that was all the community, all the famous players and casters, they, uh, they said, this is important for the game, we need it, we need that, we need that. And the game was finished, um, sadly released unfinished, though everybody could see the potential of the game and laugh it so much, but um, sad, sad, sad. But I will stick to this game, I love this game. And keep on. Thank you, not fun, follow, follow. And uh, yeah, it's. Uh, I think Hots is still a great game. It's sad that we're missing basic f things like an like an appy or you know, but um, yeah, that that. And uh, so damage here back and forth, three to three, one kills. Uh, it looks good for Team Moonmoon for now. They have a silly comp here. They have a one level lead already, and they start to sieging. Like I said, the first brawling is not that important because as long as you can't do siege and just respawn instantly, it's it's meh. But, but the siege is happening now. First tower fell. Hammer is very low. Genji getting impaled here. Gets <laughs> Genji. What the fuck are you doing there, Genji? Moon Moon. Genji Moon Moon just. <laughs> yes, you. We got that on stream, you Mac. So, <laughs> throwing the the um, the stars here into that the glaives, uh, the the shuriken into the gate casually, and <laughs> he gets he gets caught like a casualty. <coughs> Thank you. Yeah, sorry. So, yeah, for now it looks a little bit better on the sides of Team Moon Moon. Ragnar's goes here into that, uses the Molten Core for some, hmm, I don't know for what. Thank you for the follow, Graf, to Graf Tofi. Uh, new, 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 yes, you're right, it's about two minutes late because I had the disconnect. Uh, here the internet goes down and then my OBS try to catch up and catch everything and um, that's why the delay was automatically extended to two minutes now about no, not two minutes it's 70 seconds actually or is it yeah it's 77 seconds 77 seconds and that's why it takes a little bit yeah a hammer comp in Aram is silly it's mean uh, you can fight against the hammer camp though. It's just a different game than usually. But of course, if you have that poke potential of an Alarak and uh, and hammer, and then also the burst, and then not Nova and Genji, it's me. Me, it's me. So that excuse for that uh, that disconnect, and that's b why I have that delay. Yeah, but sadly that is like that, and I, I will go on streaming here. And um, thank you. Yeah, Q talent on four. For Leon and Mili, I don't know why. I don't know why actually. Why did he do that with Alarak? Arthur's falls, and maybe Mamer as well. Nope, he is unstoppable. Nope, it's a dead hammer. Hammer, what the fuck? Gets hit here from the mean Kalthas boy. And uh, leading now, 9 to 8. Less kills, but a little bit more XP. Evening it out. <laughs> no faith in hitting the E. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but like we know, when level 10 hits for both, the match will be kind of different because the heroics do a big difference in how the fights will can be handled or approached or started or yeah just ho done and that will be coming on soon both still have the fort wall so it's open Ragnaros got pulled in and finished dead Ragnaros is dead level 10 is there counter strike army x strike and also a precision strike. We have the triple strikes. And Hammer will be going with a BFG. On the other side, we have Horrify, Counter Strike, uh, Angelic Armament, Silver Smash, and Pyroblast. And no, it's Nipam Strike, no BFG. What is going on? 
Horrify used on Hammer, but yeah, she <laughs> died it. Alok died for it. Four against four. Hmm, nobody for more. Level 11 for both around the corner, at least. It's uh, eight to six kills. It's pretty, pretty even here. And I don't like all of the talent choices of the teams, like Nalpam Strike, why not BFG or stuff like that. And uh, yes, you can argue Chaos Reigns wasn't the right choice. Uh, Ragnaros again, though. He is alive. He is alive. Everything fine. Uh, we're at the precision strike. So, yeah, she, it's okay. So, we're going on here. It's Like I said, it's pretty even on this third map of this. Oh, is this serious? And this serious. Oh. <laughs> Run! Nah. Why do you hit Pyro Blast on Genji? Come on! Think! Think before you nuke! So, oh, and that's a dead hammer. <laughs> she also used the eek pretty early. It's cool, it's cool. They are nervous. Those guys are nervous because it's the deciding map of this uh, series and uh, the loser of this match will be out of the tournament. Oh, nice horrify here. Getting kills, so... <laughs> no. Ragnaros gets and Nova gets. Everybody gets something. So it's 10 to 9 kills, it's three. It's a half a level lead for Team Blue now. And they start sieging their cells, they don't want them to have a fort war. Because they don't have a fort war as well, and that's why they deny it. Hammer actually took the, the, the Napalm Strike for wave clear? Oh, for poke and wave clear, yeah, okay. So... Arthas did not connect with his W. Oh, uh, Rakuna. Thank you for following Skylarker. Yeah, the Discord quest, I don't know. And there's Ragnaros falling for it again. Oh, precision strike. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. That's a death. Alarak. Nova finishes him herself. So, bad pushing in, but that's not for a long while. They're po <laughs> uh, yes, you could see when the when the draft came up that these comms on both sides are silly. They are they are they are not uh, in balance. Yeah, they are really. <laughs> and do you know why they don't have a support? And that's why they poke each other. They have, they have a lot of death. And that's uh, why not give. Let's give us a no support game in the final round here in, in the final match. That is just silly. And there is Hammer getting something for ah. <laughs> 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 uh, yeah, she she took it like a like a tank. Nice Counter Strike here from Alarak denying that. But Arthur's in trouble. He just he just walks out here again. She goes out. Sieging happening. Level 16 is soon to be happening for Team Blue. That's um, about one level lead. That's big. So they have like uh, uh, an opportunity window of one level. Oh, uh, bye bye Genji. Bye bye Genji. Bye bye everything. And bye bye Nova too. And there's level 16 with a ruins of fraction. If you are bomb Fury of the Sun, well, uh, it's one and a half level lead. It's 15 to 11 kills. They're going back to heal up and fighting. Ah, Gavins, I forgot that. Yes, yes, right. BFG does not do any building damage anymore, but on 20 you have the lanes cleared all the time. That's okay. It's okay. Yeah, the poke was just silly. Oh, that was double damage from Kelthas. She gets all the value now with his convection stuff. Yeah. Dead Genji is dead. Dead and dead. Dunk donk. Precision strikes. Just to show dominance. Oh, 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 oh. 
campaigning. Nice uh, fear from Gul'dan here does so much to isolate the Arthas and send everybody running. Arthas falls, Arthas died at it. Level 18 to level 16, two level leads established. Gul'dan, uh, um, Ragnaros though falls here. And uh, Nova as well, Imperius does it aggressively. Oh, Hammer, E, yes, no. <laughs> Counter-Strike nice, Hammer dead, Alarak dead, Gengu remaining. It's free real estate, yeah. <laughs> exactly. So, so, what about starting to sit down that 4? We are not, we are nearly level 20 and don't even have that 4. That should it be, yes. We bridge to the first defense barrier. And now approaching Keepgate. Oh, Precision Strike. Angelic Elements keeps him alive. Arthur's running out here, but Hammer's too slow to follow. Arthur's silenced damage on Arthur. Dead Nova from nice Counter Strike Alarak. Uh, Gul'dan finishes his equals. There's so much poke from Gul'dan and Kael'thas now. Oh, uh, hammer! <laughs> use your why. Use your why. Don't. Uh, hmm. uh, I agree to you. Solos looks. Um, Solos looks. Light of the sun. Um, Kelthas and also Gul'dan, I think, both do so much poke damage uh, that will net them the victory for now. Also, Gul'dan's peeling with the with the horrifier. Whenever there's a hard engage from Team Red, they have the horrifier up, and it it it's keeps them safe. It keeps them just safe. Uh, that that. So yeah, we could see in the early game the combo of Team Red was strong. They were stronger with that because they could land that uh, that. Uh, orchestrated kills on one target with the Nova Genji, but but after that, as we, as we got closer closer to level ten, and from that on, that sustained poke damage from Team Blue was just way 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 stronger. And um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe don't choose. Uh, yeah, you should choose something with safe sustain in a non-healer game, and that's not Genji, and that's not Nova. So the keep walls are through, through the barricade. Oh, whoa, close call here from Alarak. But, uh, <laughs> oh no, no, Alarak, oh no, Alarak, no! <laughs> I sent you home to mommy. <laughs> poo, poo. He was at the stairs, you know, he was there, he was crouching up the stairs on this heart and that was not enough. <laughs> he got shoved up the stairs with a little bit too much impulse and um, that's that. But he will come back full life and that's something. The keep is gone and now the core is is under pressure and looks really rough for the Team Moon Moon and the uh, the Sith Lords are pushing for it. There are no shields on the core. That's why any po damage that's done will be good. And they can poke, and that's good. Also, Ragnar oh. Ragnaros got a little bit isolated and killed. Well, that was wor that was the precision strike of dominance value. Yes, you're right, Solos Lux. The, yeah, yeah, I agree. Uh, 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 fighting here, they got a kill on Rack, but they're losing two people. Another kill happening, Imperius falling. Oh, maybe they can do something here, they're so low though. Arthas is alone against the two mages now, and the rest can't really follow. Oh, oh, oh Genji in the shadows lurking, trying to get the kills here. Oh, will he get in there? Oh, oh, Keltas is waiting for that. No, it's dead. Nice, they are staying alive for a while. They have no well. If you lose the keep, you have no well anymore, and that's just that's just you're on a timer, you know. And especially in a map in a game without healer, that's just hmm. 
The best they could actually do was just die now and respawn and then be there with five men instead of being so low here. But uh, that, that that time is through. They should um, They have to fight now. They can't die now on purpose because the blue is moving in. Our hammer has really struggled against the, the managed poke here. Aggressive Imperius pressures out the Arthur. She's so low. Ah, they can't really fight here. No, they're so low. Oh, oh, oh. Counter Strike used. Does not connect the other one, though. Yeah, baited. Alarky in danger. I don't think it out. Oh, it's dying. Fear is used. Alarak here falling. The next one will be the Genji. Yes, that's true. Arthas. Oh, oh, oh. Oppa. Oh, Molten Core. That will most likely be game. GG. Yeah, there it is. Forty-four percent core of eight thirty-eight. Yeah, the poke is just too much. Maybe it was a bad choice to go uh, comp like that without a healer. I think that was the main mistake here from Team Moon Moon. So here we are, and we're playing some music. Woo -hoo, monkey music, and it's two-one for the Sis Lords. Congratulations! I have to update the score so everybody knows. And yes, congratulations. Um, here are the standings. Oh, nope, it's dead. My my bot died it most likely. Okay, my bot died it. Somebody killed my bot because of all the follows, but it's it's beautiful. <laughs> my bot died it. Hmm. But thank you very much for this beautiful evening. I w GG to both teams, this lot Moon Moon. The last match was really silly, actually. It was silly, you have to admit. And in the end, um, uh, the Sith Lords were a little bit, uh, had the better draft. They decided for the right thing to have that big poke and self sustain a little bit more. While the choice for Nova and Genji in, an, in, the, in a situation like this turned out worse for Team Moon Moon. Like I said, they were starting well. They had the first, um, they had the first kills. They had control, like up until level eight or nine or ten or something like that. And um, but then it just went completely against them. Uh, the fifth lords take over control and slowly poke their way forth. For what they just had the hammer left, uh, hammer for for sieging, and that's nothing. Especially if you have, if there's poke coming in from Gul'dan and and. Kelfas. And yeah, that's that. 